After optimizing my PC pretty much every day for the past two months, I felt like I reached the limit of how much performance I could squeeze out of my computer. But a couple weeks ago, a professional PC tweaker sent this message right here, claiming that he could still increase my FPS even after I've done all of these optimizations. So I was thinking to myself, why not? What's the worst that could happen? And unsurprisingly, it went extremely well. So this is how my PC used to perform. This is with just all the optimizations that I did in the past. And with his optimizations, Man, we actually touched 400 FPS. This is the first time I've ever seen 400 FPS on Fortnite. And because it works so well for me, I'm gonna be sharing some of the stuff he taught me. And yeah, let's get right into it. So I messaged him and it was surprisingly a really simple process, even though he lived across the world, but we managed to set up a time that was convenient for the both of us. When we actually set up a time for it, he made me download this software called AnyDesk, and it basically allows the PC tweaker to be able to fully access your computer. So if any of you guys wanna hire a PC tweaker in the future, be sure to encrypt all of your files because it'll be really easy for them to simply just open all of them so he made me run this code which is from chris titus and he does pc optimizations as well so in order to actually run the software we have to go to windows powershell and then we're gonna have to run the software as administrator and in here you literally just copy and paste that press enter and then it's gonna open up this thing right here just like that from here you can pretty much install any software you can install process lasso which we went over before you can install google edge pretty much anything but we're just gonna go into the tweak section and he did a bunch of optimizations in here the thing is i already made it restore point but if you guys are following along in this video you should probably check this restore point thing it'll make it a lot easier for you so you don't have to make it manually you're gonna just make sure you disable all of these so disable this disable this disable this disable this and disable that and yeah there's a description for pretty much every single thing here so every time you disable something you can actually understand what it does i low-key struggle to explain some of my optimizations in my own video so this is a really good thing that he put into the software and there you go i pressed run tweaks twice it doesn't make it very clear once you actually start it but yeah there you go and yeah the safest option is to just select what you have so if you have a laptop then press laptop if you have a desktop select desktop and then run tweaks and then we're just going to go into this update section and in here he helped me select this one because this is the best one and you can do a lot of stuff in the software too i'm not going to go over every single thing because he also didn't go through every single thing with me in here you can also add an ultimate performance profile but if you've been on this youtube channel for a bit i've been promoting ultimate performance for the past five billion years so you guys probably know all about it but if you guys don't you can really just simply press that button there once you're done with all of that you can obviously close out of windows powershell the next thing he made me do was install this thing called optimizer 16.5.exe which sounds absolutely crazy but it actually works and it's pretty insane and a lot of the stuff we've already done with the previous software so we didn't check that but yeah a lot of the stuff is just checked and then in this windows 11 section all this stuff got checked and then in startup we pretty much disabled everything including logitech g hub for some reason it's still here i literally uninstalled this thing but i don't know why it's still there what the heck is this security health man what the heck is security health let me google this what the heck is security health it doesn't take much resources it's better to keep it so i guess we're just gonna keep it based on that reddit post because again as i said in the past i trust reddit probably more than my university professors the software also has an option to download all of these useful applications there's a cleaner so this is a good place to basically just clean up everything on our pc so let's get rid of all of this and if you've seen the previous video i just did a lot of optimizations for internet personally cloudflare is the fastest and yeah that's pretty much it for optimizer 16.5.exe next thing you're going to do is make sure you have fortnite open this is the fastest way to get to it so you go to details and then you'll see fortnite client win 64 shipping and then go to open file location and on this file right here uh, right click it go into properties go to compatibility uh, for most people disabling full screen optimizations is going to help your performance but definitely try it out with this unchecked as well because it does definitely depend on your system but for most windows 10 and windows 11 systems you'll probably want this unchecked so now we're going to disable transparency so all you have to do is type in transparency and be sure to have all of these off and if you use google or discord in the background be sure to turn off graphics acceleration and turn off hardware acceleration this goes with any software that you use in the background while you're trying to play your game using hardware acceleration will absolutely destroy your performance so as I said earlier in this video, I did not just get 380 FPS out of the box. It took a lot of time and a lot of optimizations to get to that point. So I'm going to show you some more optimizations and you'll definitely notice an even bigger difference along with all of the optimizations that the professional PC tweaker gave me. In the middle of recording this video, a new GeForce game ready driver just dropped. Now the really important thing that you need to remember every time you download a new driver is that it's not going to perform really well right out of the box because it takes a really long time to get everything into the shader caches and you're going to get a lot of stuff when you boot 
boot up into your first creative game and you boot up into your first battle royale game. In fact, it takes multiple games for you to load in everything. So you'll definitely notice a lot of stutters, at least in your first day of playing. So before you benchmark any of your FPS and compare the FPS that you get with a new driver, you gotta make sure that you play for at least a full day. And honestly, ever since I got this laptop with a 30 series GPU, none of the new drivers have ever performed worse than the old ones. And now I'm gonna show you what you can do with NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Usually people use this just to get potato graphics, but that's not the only thing you can do with this. It can actually give you a huge performance uplift. So I'm not only gonna give you my preset, but I'm also gonna teach you how you can actually create your own preset for the best performance on your PC. And if you're finding this video helpful so far, definitely take a second to smash like. Now, if you want, you can copy my preset from Discord. A link to my Discord will be in the comments, but if you want to have a preset, the only thing that this really does is make your character slightly blurry and also it makes the ground slightly more jagged. And just to prove a point, all of the clips in this video were using this preset with these slightly potato graphics. So if you do like how my game looks, cause it looks slightly smoother than usual. If you do like how my game looks, you can check this out. This preset was actually made by the guy who offered to optimize my PC. So yeah, you can definitely trust that this is a good preset. So all you have to do is start downloading it. Once you press download, it goes straight into your downloads. And then from here, you'll see this button right here that says import profile. And you just have to select the file. And you'll see that some of the values changed like right here. I'm just going to explain what every single setting does so that you can change it for yourself because a lot of these, they don't really make sense to the average person. So right here with all of the G-Sync settings, you just want to have them all off. It's really only useful if you use vertical sync at the same time, but again, vertical sync does give you extra input delay, so it's not worth using in the first place. And it does take a toll on your performance, so we have everything set to off here. So if you just press this drop down menu here, you can just change everything right here. And you just have to make sure everything there is off or force off. Then in maximum pre-rendered frames, we have it set to 1. It's a really confusing thing to explain, but basically the less pre-rendered frames you have, the better input delay you have. But if you have a lot of pre-rendered frames, all of those frames are already rendered so that you'll get the smoothest experience. So comparing one to eight, you're gonna get the least performance, but the lowest input delay as well. And then obviously in preferred refresh rate, this is just the FPS that you're running. You always want to run the highest available FPS. This doesn't mean that it's gonna cancel your FPS cap in Fortnite. If you cap your FPS to 144, like I do in Fortnite, it's still gonna override this. But in case you ever wanna uncap your FPS in Fortnite to test if these optimizations actually work, it's important to have it on highest available so you're always pushing the maximum amount of frames. In this third tab right here for anti-aliasing, you kinda just wanna make sure all AA settings are pretty much off. This is just more post-processing for your game, which will get rid of the jagged lines and get rid of glimmering, which does not really matter when you're playing competitively. And this right here is very important. To be able to activate the semi-potato graphics, it's important to have this, is this setting right here. You're just gonna click on that. And you can also select settings just by scrolling like this. What a lot of people get wrong when they do the potato graphics is that they change the LOD bias OGL a lot. This is only important for OpenGL, which Fortnite does not use. Unless I'm completely wrong, you guys can correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure Performance Mode and DirectX 11 use the DirectX 11 rendering API, which would make sense. Everyone knows about this setting right here. Basically, the closer you get to this number, the more potato graphics you're gonna get. But if you select something like 0.75, so you get a huge performance increase without having to make your game look like actual garbage. Then over here in texture filtering, we're gonna put on allow. This is pretty important, especially for laptop gamers like me. Be sure to set your power management mode to prefer maximum performance. And then in shader cache, anything above 10 gigabytes is crazy. I believe 10 gigabytes is the driver default. There's really no point in having 100 gigabytes because you're just gonna have shader caches that you're never gonna use. And also it's gonna take literally years to fill up the whole 100 gigabytes. Leave that on 10 gigabytes. Unlimited is horrible, never, never do that. Do that. And then we're gonna have threaded optimization on on. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what threaded optimization does. And yeah, pretty much all of the other settings have no impact. And if you would like to learn how to optimize your PC for this season specifically, definitely check out this video right here.